Jesus is the reincarnation of God. God placed his spirit into Jesus to be put on this earth so we can understand. So God can understand us better. So before we did not understand God? To be honest, I didn't come here to debate. I just came here no, to No, just ask a question about that. I don't wanna I don't wanna go into it. No problem. Uh, it's not my what do you know about Islam? What do I know about Islam? I know some stuff, but I don't know everything. Okay, it's just like Islam. Islam who believe in God, who is a perfect God. He created us for a purpose, okay? And he chose people amongst us to convey his, his message. Like Moses, Abraham, and we believe one of them, Jesus. We believe Jesus to be the true Messiah, but we don't believe he's a God or a son of God. We believe all those prophets and messengers were chosen by God to convey the message how to worship God. You understand? All of them came to worship God alone. And the last of them is the prophet Muhammad. You understand? So when you look to Islam, Islam is a simple way of, and also we believe the Quran has been preserved. And we believe the Bible has been changed. You understand? That's our belief. And we can, we can see because the, the language... I don't know. But I'll speak to him. Hadith did not okay. come from Allah. I don't know. Anyway. Hadith did not okay. come from Allah. So, so the point here is that we can see the language that Jesus spoke, we don't have it anymore. So we are relying on translators, we don't know them. So we don't know if they lied about Jesus or not. But when it comes to Quran, we still have it in its pure language. That's why if the Jews and the Muslims and the Christians, all of them burn the scriptures, the only scripture that we can have back is the Quran. Because we have the miracle of the Quran, it has been memorized by hundreds of millions of people. What I will say is any Christian who comes here to debate is not a true Christian in my opinion. Why? But in the Bible says let's reason. That's understandable, yeah. But yeah. somebody who doesn't understand, somebody who's never been touched by God cannot speak on behalf of God. And God doesn't say to go and debate or go and argue these type of things. But he said let's reason. Let's reason means discuss. Reason with somebody who can discuss. comprehend. Somebody yeah, no, let's touched let, by the Spirit of God. So if you've never been touched by the Spirit of God, you, you, you can't understand it. Yeah, but Jesus never came to people who said, before I speak to you, you have to be touched by God. He never said that. God also said, don't cast your pearls upon swine. Yeah, I understand that. But when Moses, Abraham, all those prophets and messengers came to people, some of them were pagans. They never told them, before I speak to you, let God touch you. That's true. You understand? They came, they called them to worship God alone, either by showing a miracle or a prophecy or the teaching that makes sense to them. You understand? Because by your logic, I have respect. Now, if someone comes to me, say, what is it, why Islam is the truth? I said, I can't tell you why Islam is the truth until you have dream. No, no, we don't say that. We can't, that's why Islam is so different. Because Islam has universal proofs for everyone to analyze and look at to see why Islam is the truth. It's not subjective, it's objective. But when it comes to other religions, you have to have Holy Spirit. But before I believe there's Holy Spirit, you have to prove that to me. Otherwise, a blind faith. You can't prove something to somebody that, that doesn't understand, if that makes sense. If he uh, doesn't understand because of the language or doesn't understand it's why? Like, it's like saying, oh, football is such a great sport. Yeah. You've never played it, how do you understand? But explain to the person. Yeah, I don't want to explain. I'm not going to explain. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like teacher telling you at uh, school, maths is very interesting and it's very nice. However, I'm not going to explain to you. Nah, that's, that's the wrong way to look at it. Yeah, it's, okay. Islam is so beautiful. Explain to me. Now, you have to be touched by God. I have to explain to you why Islam is so beautiful. Why Islam is the truth. That's why the Creator, when He sent the prophets and messengers, He sent them with the absolute truth in order for you and I and everyone to not reject them. Because if we do reject them, therefore we are doing it out of arrogance or because of social reason. Because the truth that Jesus came with and Moses came with and all the prophets and messengers, it was so clear. Anyone that rejected it was arrogance. And Prophet Muhammad came with the truth. But I'm not talking about what Paul said or what Luke and Mark and Matthew. I'm talking about Jesus. Well, all I'm going to say is Christianity is a religion of love. So, so somebody who doesn't understand that isn't able to comprehend it. Am I right saying it. that when Jesus was asked what is the great commandment, his response was to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul and your strength. And the other is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. On these two hang on, prophets in the law. You know, he's out of respect. He was talking to me and he just jumped. But I'm going to correct him. Jesus said to you, Jesus said in the Bible, you cannot, my be, you cannot be my disciple until you hate your mother. Until you hate your mother. Jesus' disciple, let me show you. Because it's just hyperbole. Okay, I, 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 I'll show, show you here. Oh, yes, thank you. you know yes, what I mean? yes, yes, yes. So that's, that's the whole point. Because it's somebody like who's not your eye out, out as well, you should pluck your eye out. Okay, now what he said? What he said? 
Yeah. So when he said the hate, what does it mean? What it means is, it's not. That's the thing about Christianity. Yeah? And a lot of people come here to argue. You can't argue. You, there's no possible well, to argue. You can understand if, it. If you can't, my reason for that, yeah, is that quote can be very easily misinterpreted. Yeah? Right? He used the word hate, but what he really means is you have to love God first before anything. But he used hate. First before exactly anything. Right. Even before your own mother, your own father, your the own Jews I, understood I, exactly. I, what I, you I understand that, but hate was there, so the translator mistranslates. No, it's not. It's just somebody who's been raised as a Christian will truly understand. But it also you says you. But are you, but you're two Christians. Yeah, exactly, I understand. Exactly. Another. I understand. I, I understand you know, that. I'm with more if he wants me to. Yeah, but, no, but both of you, okay? Yeah. Is God? Does God love everyone? Yeah, he does. So when God said kill the babies who the children is that love? Well, you, what you're doing right now, you're gonna quote me on things that. No, no, no. When God said to slaughter the babies alive, Could you if show I me that verse, yeah. I really don't know. Is it the Old the, Testament? Is it the New Testament? The Old Testament. Uh, there you go. The Old Testament is not. Is not. So, so, so God, God is love part time or all the time? God love. All the time. So when He said, okay, so when He said slaughter the children alive, was it all love in as well? Because this is the, this is the, this is why I say the mystery. Go, go, Samuel. No, you're gonna read. What you're saying is, okay, okay. You're okay. to bring the Old Testament to now, but the Old Testament is the past. No, I'm not talking about the Old Testament. God, let me tell you, Jesus Christ said, once Jesus Christ came to planet Earth, he said, forget about the Old Testament. It's the he didn't New say that. He didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He's come to fulfill it. He did say not one jot and tittle. will be Yeah, no, no, he never said that. He never said that. My point is, the Ten Commandments are not. No, no, Jesus, when the young boy, I'll show you that you're wrong. When the young boy came to him, he said, Oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Give away him. Jesus, he said to him, Keep the commandments of God. And he's known to follow the Torah, the Old Testament. He never said to. So, if the Old Testament is out of date, why Jesus is telling the young boy who is seeking the eternal life in paradise mm. to keep the commandments of God, which is the Torah? Why is he to forgive it? No, I tell you what. I'm gonna don't stone people anymore or sacrifice. No, 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 no. Jews, no, no, no. Jews don't. Okay, so the Jews, they didn't believe in Jesus. Are you gonna follow them? Brother, you you can't utilize the Jews as an argument because some Jews rejected Jesus. We don't care about the Jews. What do we care about Jesus more than anyone else? Question is why don't they? No, no. Why don't they sacrifice? Who do you care more about, Jesus or the Jews? Jesus. So when Jesus said to the young boy. Keep the commandments of God, which is the Old Testament. Was he right or wrong? Was he right or wrong? When yeah. he said, keep the laws of the Old Testament. Keep the I commandments. Need to, I need to see it first. So he, he said, keep the commandments of God. The young boy said to him, I have okay. been doing it since I was young. He said to him, I like it one thing. Yeah. He said, what is it? He said, give your wealth away and follow me. So now, so, 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 that's in John or something. John so, so I can't remember the number now. Oh. The point here is, brother, that... Jesus clearly never said to the young boy, the Torah is, uh, is out of date. So what you said, you're wrong. You made a mistake. Really, really good Bible. So I wish I could find that. I'm not going to comment. No, okay, no problem. But now it's Jesus saying that you can go back. My point here is, well, you, I'm not talking about, forget the Old Testament or the New Testament. I'm talking about God, who you believe is all loving all the time. All the time. Even in the, the time of the Old Testament, it was all loving. Or he wasn't. Well, you know what? But you said all the time. Can I you owe your comments. Can I attempt comment to give something? No, but one second, one second, maybe before. His permission. If he doesn't want to give it. No, but I want to make him understand something that he said God is all loving all the time. Yeah. Yeah. If you say that, therefore, all the time, the past and the future. Yeah. You know, see, see, I could give a response. Yeah. Would you allow My me to? Response I will give you, no problem, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Yeah. What is all the time? He doesn't know how to define it. Okay, okay. What we're talking about is there is an incident in the Bible where you can see... This no, no, that's not my question. My, uh, no, no. my question defined all the time. He's acting no, my question defined all the time, firstly. Uh, yeah. What is all the time? Which he said. God is all, God, he said God is all loving all the time. Can you define it? I, I all the time. God is loving all the time. But however, and he said, repeat it. Define, define all the time. Can I, can I build on that? Yeah. I believe that God is loving all the time, but we can, from our own experiences, see, I had a son who died. I still believe I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. Define all the time. Can I just have respect? I define all the time. Can you, brother? I'm asking you to define all the time. So, so what I'm saying is, there are incidences in history and in our own personal lives where it seems that a loving God is not apparent because bad things happen to people. However, in God's relationship with the Jewish people, to bring about His own designs, there were verses in the Bible. I respect you being this honest here because I ask you to define all the time. All the time. What it means. What, all the time itself, it's planetary. No, but he, he said, the time. so you mean the past too? 
Huh? You mean at the, the, in the past as well? He must do, yeah. Okay, that's, that's so that's my point. My that's point, he's, he, no, he seems like it because he, the point here, I've asked the young boy here, he said to me that all the time God's all loving. So I said to him, was he all loving at the time of the Old Testament? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I said to him, is God all loving at the time of the Old Testament? He said, I'm not going to comment, which he already commented by saying God is all loving all the time. Yeah. My point here, Things, evil things are happening, that does not mean God's not. Because we, don't, we as a Muslim, yeah, we, we, yeah. we as a Muslim, we don't say God's all loving. We say God loves those who deserve His love. Deserve His love. God, God show mercy to everyone. God doesn't know. If you tell me God loves you, or God loves Pharaoh, and Pharaoh is going to be punished with the fire eternity, where is the love in punishing someone with the fire eternity? That doesn't make any sense. That's why many Christians left Christianity in the 19th century when David Hume utilized this argument, which he got it from the philosopher, from the Greek philosophers. If God is good, why there is evil? Why try to use that? Because the Christians say God loves everyone. We, as a Muslim, we don't say God loves everyone. God does not love the, 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 the these believers. God does not love the evil doers. However, God loves guidance for everyone because God's love is special to, to, in order to gain God's love you have to follow Jesus you have to follow Moses you have to follow Prophet Muhammad so Islamic way of defining God's love sure, sure, sure. no 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 I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. The, watch this the way uh, God's love being explained and defined in Islamic teaching mm. demolished the doubt of David Hume completely alhamdulillah okay okay can we attempt to give our understanding of, of no, New that's... Testament love okay so so the way we understand it is that, that when we talk about a loving God, he loves us all the time. And when Jesus says there is more joy in heaven of a one, unrep un one repentant sinner than all the righteous people, because God is, is sad that you're in the state you are. So when someone's a sinner, let's say, God doesn't love them, but he, he hates their condition. He loves them enough to want to bring them out of that condition. This is how we understand. So when Pharaoh is in the hellfire eternally, God loves him? Yep. We understand you're in hellfire through your own choice. I didn't ask you that. Does God yeah. love him when he's inside the fire? The, the, if he's in hellfire now? Yeah. If it's a question you're asking, you're asking two questions. No Let me say this here. That God said, yeah, human talk cannot co comprehend the love of God. So what you're doing is you're no. trying to make our thoughts try and answer your questions when we can't do that. We don't believe that we're able to No, but we understand what is love. So God spoke to us in language in order for us to understand. Yes, yeah. we don't understand everything. Hear me, hey me, brother. We are, I agree with you. We don't. So we cannot understand no the. Re no, hear me. We we know we don't know everything about God. Yes, mm. but certain things that we're discussing, we know about God. We know God's love. Love. We know what is the meaning of love. Okay. How God possesses it. No, how God possesses it is different. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. in the Bible, said God loved Jacob yeah. and hate who. Esau. Esau. Right. So you just said, I'm going to show you now God hates okay. Esau. So Look, what? Oh, okay, you, you dig that out. Yeah, watch this one. explanation would be, as a loving parent, and you have to discipline your son. Yeah, okay. No doubt about he's that. he's done something wrong. Yeah. And your son, you cause him pain and he's in tears. Do you still love him? You love him. But if you, if you, if you, if you, if you touch him all the time. No, 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 that's not same. No same. God chastised his okay. chosen people to turn them around. But yes, I agree. So these things have happened. If you punish your son with a fire eternity, would you love him? Well, see, I believe as a Christian, we choose to go. No, to I didn't ask you that. No, I'll ask you. I'm not asking you. No, we, if you, as a parent, you keep torturing your son with a fire without an end, no, 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 it's good. would you say, that I love him? Would no, any him? Do it. That would be no, 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 no. Would talk. any? You're asking for. You're telling no. us to speak yeah, in the name of God. No, would any human being with sound reason says, "I love my son, human but I'm torturing him with a fire eternity"? Human. Doesn't make any sense. No, no, but I can't explain that. Explain that. No, sorry, sorry. Explain that. We God said. Sorry, we God said He loved Jacob. I'm going to show you to, to understand what I'm saying. Love Jacob. God can have favorites. And hate. Now, but no, 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 before you leave, before you leave, before you leave, God loved Jacob. Uh, uh, and hated Esau. Yeah. There must have been a reason, I'm hoping. That's in the, in the, the New Testament, by the way, yeah? In Romans. Jesus, as, just as it is written, Jacob loved, but Esau uh, hated. So God hates. Doesn't love everyone. That's a new Bible. So, Why do you think God hated Esau? No, but does he hate or not? Before why? That's okay. Okay. Well, so he doesn't love everyone. All right. 
You know what? If my, if my child did something, sinner. I would hate them. No, no, but he doesn't. No, no. Count them out. no, no, no. He didn't say he hates sins. He hates Esau. You just told me God loves everyone. No, no, I will hear. I'm not asking about the reason. I understand no, wait, there is a reason. Is the key to yeah. that, to no, I understand there's a reason. I'm not negating. But the point here is, he told me God loves everyone. But in the no. Bible, God, but God hates Esau. Well, what's, what's, what's the, what does, what, tell, tell me more, what, what happened that... Look at what happened, the fact he hate him. The, what, why, what happened, what, what led to it? Is that, is that, is that, is that, you know... Plain English. Okay, very plain English. If one of my daughters... Anyway, take care of yourself. Awful, I would say, I hate you. Yeah, but you never said you hate anyone. I don't negate, but you told me God loves everyone. Yeah. yeah, of course. You love everyone. No, I don't love everyone. Your boy. LGBTQ and guess this. Oh, yeah, oh, stop it. Oh, ah, keep that hair short, man. <laughs> don't you? Man, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> Look, you need one of these. No, no. <laughs> oh, they're into that and all, man. Look, they're everywhere. Hang on, where are they? Where are they? Uh, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay. I, do enjoy, I enjoy it. I enjoy speaking to you, Joe, but my point good. is that I know there's a reason God hates some people. But my point is, I'm not negating that. Yeah. LGBT, yeah, no doubt. I agree with that. And he loves, you know what I say? God loves guidance for them. God loves he them to repent good for, for them. them. No doubt. Him. So we agree now. Yeah, yeah. You see, so we agree. Welcome to Christianity. No, welcome to Islam. Because <laughs> Christianity, you believe oh, God loves everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. But logically, yeah, yeah. doesn't make any sense. He loves them. That's why he hates to see them in that condition. <laughs> if he did, oh, anyway, look, it's been He good loves track. goodness for them. That. And is this yeah. your friend or yeah, your, brother, yeah. your brother? It's a little brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, there's anyway. There's always a quality end down here. You know, there's lots of shows on, on display. You can pay your money and get entrance fee, but you get great value with Shams. <laughs> <laughs> you get more than more shams sometimes when you want to <laughs> take care of yourself. But anyway, brother, yeah, yeah, well, I will leave you with pray to the God of Jesus, the God of Abraham, to guide you to your truth. God bless you. Too. Right. Take care. What country are you from? Are you mixed? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria and Russia. Na Nigeria? And Russia. Oh, Russia, Russia. That's, uh, you know, yeah, I was going to say that, but I have respect. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say that. I know, I know a, a sister that uh, she's half Nigerian, half Polish. Yeah, that's good. This one, that's close, a, but not, not yeah, yeah, yeah. For 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 uh, uh, both uh, your parents uh, Christians. Yeah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, you become Muslim soon. Inshallah. You have to become Muslim, man. Worship God to be saved. No joke. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. You have to worship God according to His teaching, according <laughs> to to the <laughs> Romans. Don't <laughs> 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 take care of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna force him or something.